What's up guys, this is Matt Dollar, PDGA number 26045 and team captain for Team MVP. And I wanna do a little updated in the bag. And uh, today we're gonna start with the overstable drivers and work our way down to the mid ranges and butters. So let's go. The first and possibly most important disc in my bag, I have two neutron phases. These are both board flat, like I pick through to find the flattest ones available just because with my thumber, I like to take the big pan movement right to left before it goes back left to right. And I feel like the flatter the better. I also use these for forehand and backhand. So it's one of the most versatile discs in my bag. Moving on down, we have two neutron dimensions. These both come in weighing between 170 and 174. Uh, this one is fresh with my new ring of dollar stamp. This is the one I've been throwing for a while. They're very overstable uh, at low speeds. At high speeds, if you put them on a good angle, then they will fly before coming out. So if you have a lot of arm speed, then this disc is not gonna be massively overstable for you. But if you have any less arm speed than me, it's gonna be massively overstable for you. Uh, I find this just to be very overstable, but it's so fast that it just gets where it's going and the dependability in the wind is second to none. So that's why it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite long range driver. Next, we have two fission photons. This one comes in at 174 grams. This one comes in at 169 grams. This one is overstable, uh, brand new with a ring of dollars, and I love it. It's just a little less stable than my dimensions, but if I get it out there on a little bit of Anheuser, it will hold very nicely before always finishing with a fade. Meanwhile, this Photon has been in my bag for three-ish months, and I've definitely seasoned it. Uh, I like to throw it backhand Heiser flip, but I also really like to throw it forehand Heiser flip. So this is the disc you'll probably see me throw the most forehands with. Um, I get, definitely get the most distance out of this forehand than anything I have. Speaking of forehand, this is the other disc you'll see me forehand a fair bit, and it's the Neutron Wrath. Uh, really flat, speed nine driver, just super controllable with a dependable finish. I find the Neutron Wrath to be a little less stable than the Proton. I'm able to put a little bit of angle, it holds a nice turn, but then is a, has a reliable fade at the end. Uh, the Proton is definitely more overstable, so if I throw it the same way, it's gonna just do a nice little S flight. So I like the Neutron because it gives me a little more variety in the shots that I can use it for. I'll also throw this for thumbers every now and again uh, when I don't need it to be super long and I don't need it to be super tight. It's just a nice, easy 200 foot, 250 foot thumber disc. Uh, so I will use that from time to time. Last two drivers in the bag are my understable drivers. First, we have the Streamline Lift in the Cosmic Neutron Plastic. Uh, this is a new disc in my bag and it is amazing. It's not as understable as the numbers quite make it out to be, I find. It really has a nice overstable finish at the end, as long as you don't put an extreme Anheuser on it. Um, I haven't really tested it too much forehand, but it's really become a go-to fairway driver for me backhand. Now to complement the, the lift, I have this very beat up Plasma Insanity. I've been throwing this one for over a year and uh, it's, very understable. Even for an insanity, it's very understable. I believe this one actually weighs about 167 grams. So I really like this for rollers. Uh, if I'm ever forced into a situation where I have to throw a tomahawk, which I'm not a huge fan of, I throw lots of thumbers, but not tomahawks. Uh, I will throw this for tomahawks in the woods. I definitely know where it's going to go, even though I don't get a lot of distance out of it. That's going to conclude the drivers. We'll move to the mid ranges. Starting with the most overstable, we've got the neutron deflector. So I threw the original Neutron Deflector that I received uh, for over a year until I stuck it in the tree at the Santa Cruz Masters Cup on top of the world and never got it back. I put in this fresh Neutron Deflector and wow, I forgot how overstable this disc is. It is amazing. Uh, my home course has a lot of par fours in the open and I definitely like using this for all the approach shots because it's just so consistently overstable. So to complement that, I've got the new Pyro and the pyro is amazing as well. While it still has the very overstable finish like the deflector, it's much more throwable. It kind of releases forward when I throw it, especially with a little Anheuser. So to release forward, work very nicely before finishing with a strong hyzer. I can definitely get about another 50 feet out of this over the deflector. 
Then you have my favorite mid-range, the Electron Vector. So I'm currently working two Electron Vectors. I've got this one that's been in the bag for probably close to a year. And then I've got this one, which is brand new. So uh, this one is much less stable than this one. However, even the brand new ones, I find if I put a little Anheuser on it, it'll just hold that turn until the very end while it tries to flatten out. This one is beat up as it is. It's got a little bit of warp at this time, but I, I don't feel like it flies any worse because of it. And uh, honestly, I'd like to beat it up even more and make it even more right turning. Because like I said, it's my favorite mid-range. I wanna have as many varieties of that mid-range as possible. So Electron Vector, if you don't have one, I'd suggest getting one. It's basically my tunnel shot through the woods, or if I just have to believe that I have to hit this gap, this is what I'm throwing. So now I'm gonna move on to my putters. Um, if you followed me at all, then you know I am a huge fan of the Envy. So my throwing putters, I have a blank Neutron Soft Envy. Uh, this one comes in at 171 grams and it's pretty fresh to the bag. I just love the Neutron Envy. I'm able to throw it with Heiser and it only moves on a left angle. However, if I throw with Anheuser, it just works out the flat very nicely. I think it's one of the furthest flying putters of all time, and I think it's probably the most trusty putter I've ever thrown. Now I have a soft Cosmic Electron Envy, and this is a new addition to the bag as well. I mean, it's still just an Electron Soft Envy, although I feel it might have just a touch more stability in the Cosmic Neutron plastic. So I'm really liking this for upshots where I wanna kinda hyzer flip to straight, because the Electron plastic is definitely less stable than the Neutron plastic. So this makes for a good stand up and straight shot, also for short approaches where I'm too close to throw the vector. So last two putters in the bag are the putting putters and they are both also Electron Envies. This is an Electron Soft Envy and that's what I generally putt with. However, in the very warm summer months, sometimes I switch over to regular Electron because these just get a little too gummy for my hands. I feel like uh, the regular Electron holding just a little bit more stiffness makes it glide a little better when it's really, really hot out. So I feel like these two complement each other a lot. If I have a little bit of wind I'm putting into, then I prefer this one because it won't lift as much because it's used and kind of broken down. This one has held its shape great because it's brand new and a little bit stiffer. And so it has a little more lift. So if it's a longer putt, then I would prefer to use this. So uh, I'm Matt Dollar and I really appreciate you guys watching my In the Bag with uh, Team MVP Disports. Sports.